Oh, you know what I love? Dur slashers. Dur slasher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to say that. I almost ended wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Multivitamin. No, that's not it. No. That's it. No, that's, it. that's, it. No, that's it. not it. That's it. Look, he's nodding his no. head. No, okay, hold on. Hey, Steph. What you doing out here, girl? Hey guys, I'm Steph and we're here with AJ Tracy. This is Hey Steph TV. We're here in Berlin, obviously, and we're in the beautiful all-in restaurant. Please come by if you get the chance to. It has great food. And what I wanted to start with, what were some stigmatas? You, because you've been to Germany a few times, right? Lo loads of times, like 30, 40 times, loads of times. Okay. So many times. So you're basically German. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> the Deutsche AJ Tracy. Okay. If I go back to England, they're going to say, oh, so you're German now. They're not going to like me anymore. Okay. I think England and Germany have a little bit of a rivalry. A little bit is saying it nicely. <laughs> but what are some typical German things that you knew as stereotypes that came to be true? That Germans don't fully understand English sarcasm. You don't understand English sarcasm. If I say something sarcastic to a German person, unless they like have spent time in England, they're not going to understand what I mean. They'll think I'm just being rude, but I'm not. The fact that you don't understand what I'm saying here. No, I understand. No, no, you're, you're, you're thinking I don't know because my face gives away all my <laughs> impressions. Also their faces as well. <laughs> what would be like an example? Like, for example, imagine like someone here said to me, AJ, do you mind like passing me that? Pass me my bag and I say, yeah, I'm going to pass you your bag. Then they'll just look at me like, yeah, but will you pass the bag then? Or will yeah, you not? See, you don't get it. That's yeah, the point. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's, what I'm saying. that's what I'm saying. But that's true. I think that's actually true. Not everyone, of course, but I think English sarcasm is like the highest level of sarcasm. It's so, it's so sarcastic. It's borderline, like just rude. But will you end up giving the bag or yes, no? Of course, of course I will. But first I have to make you feel weird about you asking me for the bag. That's like how it goes. Because now I'm like, will the bag ever be given? Yeah, exactly. It's like clearly, a, I think I am. Limbo. You're in limbo I'm for the bag. Limbo. Exactly. See, see, exactly. So that's that's one thing. Respectfully, no disrespect. I'm not a fan of German food, but I'm also not a fan of English food. So you know what I'm saying. I'm from Trinidad. I love Trini food, and obviously you have a large Turkish community here. I love Turkish food, so that's fine. But English and German food, I'm not really a fan, to be honest. What's the most German food you ever ate? I tried at my girlfriend's family's house i ate these i don't know what they're called you guys are gonna have to help me out it's like you have it with like a sunday dinner they're like balls Picadella. no it's like made out of potato mm, i don't know knudel I had that, I had that, I had you that. had I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. And everyone loves that. It's kind of, it's kind of like, if you squint your eyes, it no. could be similar to like no. fufu or ugali in a weird way. No, 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 no. no. Okay. So they gave you knud and you didn't. The thing is, the thing is as well, is that they're Turkish. So I love Turkish food, but German food, that was the first for me. And I tried it and I was like, yeah, it's not, it's not for me. I'll, be honest. I'll stick to like English roast dinners. That's Sign me up. Schnitzel okay. I like. Schnitzel's great. Yeah. Schnitzel I like. I like blue vine. Oh, it's the season Christmas for that. Time. Yeah, Christmas yeah. time. I like blue vine. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you got some cool stuff. Pastries. I like your pastries, but just the general cold meats and yeah, I'm not really a fan. Are there any soccer clubs you're a fan of from here? Yeah, BVB. I like BVB. Dortmund. Yeah. Great choice. I like I like if you would have said Bayern, I would have no, stood no, up no. and left. No, no, okay. I like I like BVB. I <laughs> but but big up Bayern because one of I support Tottenham. One of our old players, Harry Kane, plays for Bayern. He also supports yeah. Tottenham. Does he? I think he supports United. Oh, okay. No, he but told he's from me. Tottenham. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he told me actually. All right, Hedy, I'm onto you because you should be supporting Tottenham, bro, with a the man then, bro. I'm onto you for that. <laughs> Why Dortmund? <laughs> Dortmund, because it's a humble club. It's an honest club, you know what I'm saying? Not that Bayern isn't, but like, it's a superpower. I like the underdogs. I always champion the underdogs. Like, the club I was supporting is called Hertha Berlin. I know Hertha Berlin. Yeah, yeah of course. They did all right last season. They did okay. No, we. No? We, we failed very much. You very yeah. Much. Was it but I'm loyal. You did all right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very loyal, though, okay, now. Okay. Did so, you get relegated? Yeah. You got relegated? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Condolences. <laughs> yep. He that's said condolences. Yeah, that's, that's the <laughs> meanest <laughs> thing you could have said. Sorry, sorry, is condolences. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, at least you actually support like your local team, which is good. Yeah. That's good. And, and if I would have to pick another one, I would say Frankfurt is really cool. Okay. Okay. Because they're hardcore fans. Mm -hmm. Their fan base is to the point where you yeah, get scared. Indeed. I feel like a lot of German fans are hardcore fans though. Yeah. Football, yeah. soccer is like our yeah. life. Makes sense. Yeah. Ours too, to be honest. True. True. Liverpool is also nice. I like the fan community. Oh, wow, the side eye I got. Okay, well, we talked about horrible German food, so that's fine. I can okay, understand okay. that. But you just mentioned, so your dad's from Trinidad, your mom's from Wales, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, well, that's not, I mean, <laughs> trust me, I, I know a lot about you, which might be creepy, but well, I'm not going to get into that too much. Um, okay, okay. okay, for people, you know, watching this for the first time, right? You're from West London, but your mom is from Wales. What's something typical Welsh to uh, say? Like, what's something your mom says where people are like, oh, you're not from London. Say, to be honest, my mom doesn't speak Welsh. She, she can speak Welsh, but she speaks English. What does time. Welsh sound like? Crazy. Sounds, yeah, it sounds different. Sounds very different. Do you have like a word or something? Yeah, kutch. Kutch means like a cuddle, like a hug. 
A kutch. A kutch. Yeah, so like asking, K-U-T. No, no. I, f- I believe, I could be wrong, you have to Google this, but I think it's like C-W-T-C-H, I think. There's no vowels in it. Cut. Like in Welsh, they have a lot of words of no vowels. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. But that's a good word. Kutch is a good word. It's a cute word. If ever I'm in Wales and I If someone says, give me a kutch, it means give me a cuddle. That's cute, it's nice. Okay, yeah. that's a good... Uh, so now we know a Welsh word. Yeah, what about Welsh one from Trinidad? From Trini, I'll be honest. Yeah, a they, classical one. Trinidad, they speak a multitude of different languages. What's a lot of typical thing you'd say? Lime. Lime, as in like the fruit lime. Yeah. It means to chill. It means to chill, like to hang out. How do I use that? So if someone say, where you on? And you say, we're liming. We're liming, we're chilling. We're just hanging out. We're just kicking it. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, if, if someone would say that to me here, I would think they're going on the e-scooters because they're e-scooter, called oh, lime. lime. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. But basically, if someone says to you, so if you say like, what are you doing? You say, oh, nothing, I'm just liming. I'm, I'm there, I'm there, chilling, liming. So the mix would be, hey, uh, my girlfriend just gave me a coach, but now we're, <laughs> now liming. we're liming. Exactly, yeah. Bam, bam, easy. That's insane. Easy. What a weird mix, but cool. Yeah, cool mix. In the UK, it's very common to be like half British, half Caribbean. That's really common. So like Irish, Jamaican, Welsh, Trinidadian, like Grenadian, Scottish is very common. I'm mixed too, but I don't think my mix is so common. Go ahead. Okay. I see the African pendant. Yes. Okay. Right. So I'm half Kenyan, half German. Nice. Okay. Is that common or not common? Mm-mm. Because, but also, what I think what's the most uncommon part is my mom's Kenyan okay. and my dad's okay. German. Okay. Yeah. So mostly it's somehow it's the other way. Yeah. yeah like, and weirdly enough, every time I talk to people who are mixed, the parents are never together anymore. Yeah, yeah. I guess like that. I guess like that. It do be like that sometimes. It be like that. <laughs> it be like that. So. That say <laughs> like, it builds character. It builds character. We're here. We're alive. <laughs> we're here. We're alive. We're here, we're here, well, we're okay. So in West London, right? Yep. When you were growing up there, for mm. someone that's never been there, mm. could you describe it a little? Because okay. you're from a place. Hold on. I don't want to butcher this. Okay. Ladbroke Grove. Yes. And Ladbroke Grove. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, no, British, no, no, you said so it right, said it right, said it right. Ladra Grove, yes. <laughs> what are you laughing? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I didn't think that was something hard to say, but go ahead. Yeah, because of the Grove part. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, was that British sarcasm? No. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I caught that. So, Ladbroke Grove, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for the millionth time. Describe it to me, because West London people would think is more posh and bougie, but the, is, what you d- describe is the opposite of it. It is bougie, it's bougie, but London is, um, I think it's similar to somewhere like Istanbul, where like, you know, it's a big city, there's a lot going on, but if you go, you know, off the beaten path, so to speak, if you go off the main roads, you're gonna find some areas that are not so nice, you know, that's the same anywhere, I guess. But yeah. in West London, it's like, you have extremely rich people in massive mansions and houses, right opposite it, you know, an estate, we call it an estate or like a, a housing block, like a project, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You see that right opposite and you know, some people won't have money for their electricity, they'll have candles on, but opposite is like a big white mansion. So this is how West London is. It's not great. You know, people who don't have much have to look at people with a lot. So it's quite hard, but you know, it either motivates you to, you know, do better for yourself or you just give up, to be honest. It's quite sad, but West London's interesting. It's a very interesting place. We have a mix of Caribbean people, Moroccan people, you know, Turkish people, Algerian, like we have a lot, we have a strong mix. I think it's a a beautiful area. When you look at West London, when you walk around my area, it's like, White houses, freshly cut grass. Like, it's actually really pretty, to be honest. And like, we have Notting Hill Carnival. You know about Carnival, right? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have Notting Hill Carnival. It's massive, really beautiful. Caribbean culture. Good food, good food as well. No knuted. <laughs> no, um, no, no. Yeah, but you, but you didn't live in the good part. That's what I understood. Mine wasn't so bad, I'll be honest with you. It wasn't so bad. It's more about like, my road specifically, in my opinion, people might disagree with me, but I like my road. I think my road was nice. I, I'm, I was cool on my road. It wasn't that bad. But the surrounding area, the influences that are around, and you know, unfortunately, because we never grew up with that much money, everyone faces the same problems, you know what I'm saying? So it becomes quite a melting pot and sometimes you fall into the wrong wrong career path a little bit. What from growing up there formed you or your character the most? The like, most? Yeah. To be honest, just my mom, because I had a single mom and she was so strong. You have a brother, correct? Yeah, I have a brother, yeah. Just single mom, super strong, like really passionate about, you know, educating us and making sure that our moral compass is, is correct. Yeah. You know, like you see someone who needs help, help them. You know, if someone's being horrible to women, stand up for them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's my mom. Is, Mama. is there something you miss about your childhood there? Uh, Do you yeah. still live there? No. No, no, I don't live there, no. God forbid. But, um, <laughs> what? You just described it as actually a nice... Because no, it, it is a nice area, of course, but at the end of the day, when you when you become successful, and especially if you were in a lifestyle that you don't want to be part of anymore, yeah. the goal should be to escape, you know what I'm saying? To elevate, leave, and have a happy life. So when I see people glorifying the things that we went through, it's not, it's not ideal, is it? I just I think it's nice to, you know, have goals, set them, achieve them, and be part of society and enjoy it, to be honest. There's something <laughs> you, is there something you miss from your childhood? Yeah, to be honest, not specifically the area, but just being a kid in general, because there's less stress, less pressure, right? Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. don't rely on you, you rely on people, which is probably easier <laughs> to be honest. You don't have to pay bills, <laughs> yeah. laundry is lala, yeah. smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
Just take your t-shirt off and throw it in the wash and then your mom's gonna do it. <laughs> so in that same area, is that where your friend was with the room that you guys would hang in that was like a, you described it as like the trap, the hangout right, space yeah, where yeah. you started recording? Not too far, not too far from my house at all. We're at like two roads away. And I recorded most of my songs in there. We had like a, a paint tin, you know, Dulux paint? Yeah. Like a paint tin with like a mic stand and a mic and then a sock over the mic to like, you know what a pop shield is? Yeah, pop shots. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, six, 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 six. So yeah. I used to produce. Okay, six, six. So yeah. But terrible beats. Well, that's why I'm an interviewer uh, now. So. A pop, uh, you made beats, yeah? Okay, I used it. to make beats, but they were terrible. And yeah. it was in the time of dubstep. Okay. Oh, do you remember when dubstep was a thing? I think because we're similar age. I like, I like dubstep at the time. I do, the time. I do, yeah. Yeah, now, yeah, 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 but it was cool, it was cool. So you had cool. a sock as a pop shield. Yeah, we had, a, we had a sock and a Dulux tin as a stand, as a mic stand. So yeah, we was doing that. But it worked out, so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to that friend? Oh no, and he's around, he's still here, he's, still, he's actually on my album, so. Yeah, yeah, he's on my album, so sick. Looking back on how you started making music, mm -hmm. and how you would, as you described, no pressure, just yeah, fun, yeah. just bars, even if the results were yeah, still grandiose, right? Yeah. right? I mean, yeah. yeah. How do you feel now when you when you start making music? Uh, to be honest, it's a lot more pressure. I say pressure, at the same time it's not, you know, I'm grateful to be in a position I'm in. I don't want anyone to hear this and be like, oh, why is he so upset? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's lit, whatever, but I'm grateful for everything. But it is a lot of pressure, you know, when the fans say, yeah, haven't dropped like where's the music we want to hear this and they give you a specific yo we want to hear this and you've been making something that sounds like that over there and it's like you gotta try and give them what they want but also what they need if that makes sense it does the fans might want something yeah. but they need something else you need to give them what they need rather than what they want you know how do you know what that is rapper's intuition i know you have a uh, sick intuition because you've said a few things like your email twitter hustle <laughs> i heard of and right. you know knowing to put stuff on soundcloud yeah, and have, at the time hustler. i think rap i think being a, a famous musician is less about just the music. You need to be, you know, a go girl You have to have a blueprint. You need to be zealous. That's one of my favorite words. You gotta be zealous. What yeah. is zealous? Mean? Zealous to have zeal to like get up and go. To be, you know, have a we call it like batteries. To have batteries in your back, like you're charged up. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? To always want to go and achieve. I get that, but at the same time, I feel like the pressure that you described, and not in a negative way. I feel like this what the fans want and what the fans need. There is currently an example of that, which is insane. But at the same time, I feel like it's gonna help a lot of artists, which is Andre. 3000 because oh, yeah, yeah. what yeah. how long yeah, the the yeah, yeah. did you listen to it i didn't i'll be honest i didn't i'm a massive 3k fan i'm a massive fan but i didn't because respectfully i know what i like and don't like and that's not music that interests me respectfully you're, oh, I'm a massive fan, though. that's one of my favorite rappers ever would you say you're an open person yeah of course yeah of course hear me out and this is not on a canoodle is it just a flute no just, that is one but it beats right, explain yeah, it okay 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 so i'm a huge three stacks fan too i mean fucking he made equipment i like what you know like oh well him and big one so right. but of course as i've been waiting for a long time finally they said oh there's an album and then i kept seeing him with this flute everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah. the flute pictures are cool they're cool because but it's like what are we this is zelda because like big boy has an owl he yeah. has a flute anyway but um i was like okay what's this gonna be i waited and i listened to it and i am not a flute fan wow. it's very relaxing it's actually good it's I really interesting it's really not what is you it think just it is. Flute, though? no there's multiple instruments okay. there's a lot going on there's sick production you're also a producer it's you can produce beat, there's a beat are they rappable beats can you rap on these beats? You could. <laughs> but it, does it sound like a beat? Does it sound like a beat? If not, then I'll be honest. Yes, it's a no for me. I, I will listen to it. I have respect because he's one of my favorite artists. I will, I will listen to it. But. It stands for something. It stands for that, that you can evolve. What about what is when you're 50 and you're like, oh yeah, I Lord just want to do. <laughs> well, not a flute, but when I'm 50, hopefully I'm managing a football team. That's what I would like to do. I don't want to play no flutes. I want to go manage some footballs. <laughs> Inshallah, I hope so. It, yeah, okay, okay. But give the flute thing a listen. I have respect. I'll give it a listen. Okay. But would you say in the giving the fans what they need and what they want scenario, what are you doing right now? Are you going to give them what they need or are you going to give them what they want? Right now, I'm being unfair to the fans because I haven't dropped in a long time, in like 18 months or something. I don't know. I haven't dropped in a while. And that's not for any particular reason. I just felt like taking a break, to be honest. But I'm definitely going to give them what they need, not what they want. What they need is, is what I'm giving them, for sure. But you know... And again, okay, okay. but you're already looking at me like, okay. okay. I would say, looking at your discography, I feel like it could be time for a Secure the Bag 3. I'm just putting it out there. Before you get a Secure the Bag 3, there'll be a little Tracy 2. And before you get a little Tracy 2, there's going to be a new album. That's what's coming out. I'm going to drop the album. People are going to get what they need. And then we'll, we'll see from there. But the next song, the next song's Wifey Rhythm though. I'm dropping Wifey Rhythm, but... Oh, cool. That's actually something that people are going to be happy to have, you know what I'm saying? So I thought I'll start with something nice for them and then we'll build from there. A little, a little sweetener and then we'll see what goes. There's like a saying in German, it's a Zuckerbrot und Peitsche. What does that mean? It means sugar, yeah. bread and a whip. So 
like to so, No, so like give them a little bit sugar okay, okay, and okay. then to keep them going with okay. bread, like maybe the album, okay. or then whip them with something crazy. I know another German saying. Okay. Don't play the offended liver sausage. <laughs> How do you say that German? An offended sausage? Oh, beleidigt die Leberwurst. Like, Who's really German here? Is it me or is it you? Did you just say offended sausage? Offended liver sausage. That would be in English what it would be, no? I don't know in German. I don't speak I, German. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I am so shook. I am so shook by this. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, you, you did something. Yeah, okay, so the German... We research. I do research. We research. Yeah, yeah, but the German is... And probably your girlfriend says that yeah, to you. She told me. She are, you a, yeah, are you a beleidigt to Leberwurst often? Is it that? Yeah. Okay, fine. Are you often like offended, like pouty? Like it's pouting. Sometimes, yeah, I do that sometimes, yeah. I do that sometimes. And then she says that, whatever you just said. Yeah. What is a trait of yours that you wish you could just remove? None. Really? I like watches. Oh. All of them, even the bad ones, I like them all. What's the worst? The worst trait is probably I'm really moody, I'm so grumpy. I'm like a Grinch, honestly. People call me the Grinch, actually. No, if I'm in a bad mood, it's like an infectious, like overwhelming bad mood that everyone would just be in a bad mood, which is why if I'm in a place with, you know, friends and family, wherever I'm in a bad mood, I'll just leave to not infect everyone with a bad mood, so I'm saying. It's so crazy, you know who's like, like my mother? Is it? Yeah, she can like freeze a room, but she can, in the same way, make it unbelievably warm. Is she very strong willed? Is she like got an iron will? Like if she wants to do something, she'll just do it. Like there's like, no stopping her. Yeah. yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. She did something so crazy just recently, and this is very weird to say, but my mother has not swam for 30 like since I'm 31 yeah I'm 31 I've never seen her swim okay and she always said she could swim I can swim and I learned to swim and I had like floaters and stuff and I remember I almost drowned but she was like I'm not getting in that water my came out shout out to her yeah. and then and so, <laughs> yeah and then out of nowhere my dad now for the first time sends me videos and pictures and he said yeah and he said she just got up put on her cap and just entered the water and swam. And he was dumbfounded. I was dumbfounded. We can't believe because I thought she was lying because a lot of Kenyan people can't swim. What? So. How far are you from the wall? From where I was born, Nairobi, yeah. pretty far. Oh. And and the lakes we have, yeah. you shouldn't enter. Because oh, there's shouldn't. like cause there's like hippos and crocodiles. Hippos are scary. They're really scary. People don't know how dangerous hippos are. They're really bad. Yeah, top 10 dangerous yeah, animals. So dangerous. Yeah. I thought they could swim, but I learned recently they don't swim. They just run so fast and powerful that they like bounce off the bottom of the... Yeah. That's crazy. What's your favorite animal? What's my favorite animal? Such a random question. I'm just I like, I like sharks, actually. I like sharks. Sharks are fire. I think sharks are cool. Yeah. Why? Because they're just strong. They don't take any... Can I swear? I can't swear. Of course. This is oh. Germany. We were. Okay, the, I forgot on. I'm in Germany, yeah. yeah. They, don't, they don't take any shit from anyone, you know what I'm saying? Sharks are powerful. And you just mind their business. Like, just leave them alone and they're good. And like, if you get on their bad side, then it's up to you, sharks. See, sharks, grumpy, man. There's El a- tiburon. That's what we call it, El Tiburon. What's the best trait you have? The best trait? I think I'm very caring. I think I care a lot about everyone. I'm very passionate. Once I care about someone, once I love someone, then it's, that's it. Like, I put everyone else above, like, people's happiness, I put it above mine, to be honest, most of the time. Where does that come from? My mom, like I told you, like, my mom, because she's a single mom and she always put mine and my little brother's happiness above hers. So I've just kind of learned that's the blueprint to, like, do that for others. Is that almost people pleasing? No. I don't think so. I don't really care if you're happy. People pleasing. You know why? Because I don't really care if people are, like, happy or receptive of what I'm doing. I'm more doing it just because it's, it should be done. Does that make sense? Like, if I. It's if the I right thing someone, to do. Yeah, exactly. If you want to help someone, I'm not helping them with hopes that like they're happy that I help them. I'm just helping them because they should be helped. That's it. But what, so what do you value then most in people? Loyalty, you... loyalty for sure. Loyalty, I just care about loyalty. That's I the... want loyalty, not love. Yeah, 21 Savage Boys. It's a little fact, so anyone's spitting, I'm not gonna lie, because love is cool, but like you can fall in and out of love, do you know what I'm saying? Loyalty should be unwavering. It should just be, I'm loyal, done, finished. I met a few of your crew and friends. Are there people that have been around from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, near enough. Like, remarks from Toronto. He used to shoot for OVO and stuff. He shoots for me. Yeah, I've known him for like, how long have I known you now, bro? The start of 2017, so yeah. We're almost in 2024, that's a while. He was out there, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike's cool. Mike's cool, man, Mike's blessed. Actually, everybody was really yeah, nice. Yeah, everyone's good people. I only roll with cool people. Like, Mike and Nige, I've known him since 2016. Nige's dad is friends of my mom, like, it's all family, it's all, you know what I'm saying? How do you gauge people to know? Like, yeah, do you have like- I'm a great judge of character, honestly. Such a good judge. Character. Like, I can meet someone once for 10 minutes and if I don't like you, then I'm never gonna like you. That's it, it's done, it's finished. Like, I, I know not, my body tells me, don't be around this person, I just won't be around really? them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Whenever I get the weird vibes, like, I'm just like, yeah, there's something not right about this. Okay, ready? Judge my character. Okay, no, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. I, I be <laughs> Imagine you would have been like, by the way, I hate you, nah, nah, nah. and I'm like, Jesus. The thing is that I learned there as well is that a nice, really nice superpower that I've gained from being a rapper is like two, two actually. One is I can say whatever I want, and honestly, there's things I shouldn't say, I agree, but like, I can actually say whatever I want, that's number one. And number two is that, if I don't want to be somewhere, I just won't be there. What's the last thing you said that you regretted? I regret every time I have an argument with anyone, which is 
every day. What? I argue a lot, I argue with everyone all the time. Like, if I'm not arguing with my mom, then I'm arguing with my brother, then I'm arguing with one of the man them, then I'm arguing with my manager, I'm arguing with my missus, I don't know, I'm arguing with everyone. That's another bad trait I have. But I love arguing, it's just I can't help it. You should be part of a debate team. Yeah, then. I, I should. I wanted to be a lawyer when I was younger, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still young, so you could yes. be. Also, to be fair, you wanted to retire at 31, so you might as well start law school. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen anymore. I'm retiring at like 50 now, so you guys ain't getting rid of me anytime soon. What's the retirement gonna look like? Who knows? Inshallah. You have the, the yes. soccer club. Yeah. What else? I wanna be a manager Let's of a football manifest. team. Let's cool. manifest. Yes. Manager of a football team. Yes. I wanna be a property developer. I wanna be an interior oh, designer. Sorry, property developer. Yeah. Okay. And an inter interior designer. And I wanna style people, but I don't wanna style men, I wanna style women only. Because women just dress better than men in general, I think. And like, fashion for women is a lot better than men's. <laughs> but so th this means you're like this older guy. It would be, would be early retirement. Early retirement. So yeah. what you're gonna do is Hopefully. you're gonna start your day. In yeah. Inshallah. <laughs> then you go to your soccer club, you're like, okay, continue to train yeah. then you go to a styling place and you style women yeah. yes hopefully. <laughs> hopefully hopefully and then after you're like all right let's get this property done exactly. and bring me my architectural jump the, jump digest the, jump on the emails yeah exactly jump on the emails send some emails about the properties and then yeah design a few houses and call it a day you seem to be a very creative person <laughs> i think so i think I is there any um passion you have that you feel like you should nurture more not really right now actually since the beginning of 2023 i've been nurturing everything that i really enjoy i've always played games i play too much games to be honest with you so that's the over Nurtured. You did tell me about that yeah, phone play, game. Yeah, yeah, I play too much games. Yeah, the watermelon game, the phone game, that's the fruit game. That's got me in a headlock right now. But gym, I go to the gym more now. I eat a bit better. I focus on like putting weight on, not losing weight. I'm trying to put weight on. Yeah. How come? I just want to be bigger, to be honest. You're huge. No, I just want to lift like a lot. Like I want to lift like crazy weight. How much you lift now? I, I don't want to brag, but <laughs> I don't even want to brag. No, 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 come on, do it. No, uh, yeah, you're not gonna lie. I don't know. Last time I went to the gym, I had had 14 days at the gym and I felt really weak. I put like 70 kg on the bench and it was it was heavy for me. But on on a 70 kg. It's okay. It's okay. But on a, on a good day after like constantly going to the gym. That's day, more than I weigh. But, that's probably more than your girlfriend. But that's probably more than normal. But in general, that's just like that's regular. I'm six foot three. I should be lifting 70 kg. I weigh 103 kg. So I. Should should be lifting that but on a good day when i'm you know in the full swing of things i can lift like 105 on a good day that's like my best that's insane it's good it's cool it's cool but i need to get to like when i get to like the higher numbers and i like fill out a bit i'll be a lot more happy so that's what i'm focusing on right now that making more beats and gardening i like gardening a lot i'm gonna start like planting and trimming and yeah you're a gardener yeah i'm i'm a man of Maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, seeing yeah. that right now. Yeah. Is there like a bucket list for you this year? It's, it's the, the end of the year. Yeah, I was about to say, years almost done. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, bucket bucket list. List. that's a bucket list. Was that the first time? No, no, it wasn't the first time, but it was fun. It was really fun. That's the first time me being uh, not working. Okay. So that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Bucket list. I'd like to go to India, to be honest. How come? It just looks like a fascinating culture. Like obviously they're known for their food. It'll be warm. It'll be beautiful. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to go there. Bucket list as an artist. Get a feature from Nas. <laughs> That's my favorite rapper. And Did he just get a Grammy again? Yeah. Yeah. Like Nas, man. Yeah. Legend. He's a legend. I'm glad he's getting his flowers. I'm glad he's getting his flowers. He deserves it. Crazy them. that he's getting them now, and he yeah. didn't get them back then. It goes like that sometimes, you know. It'd be like that sometimes. I heard a really good phrase that I love. I always say to people: sometimes we plant seeds that we don't get to sit underneath the tree. Mm. A good phrase sometimes you're just here to like help everyone else you know sometimes you don't get to enjoy the fruits of your labor so to speak I hope we do. yeah but even if you don't it's, it would be nice to know that like your kids are gonna have a great life because of you right yeah i don't have kids i have a dog <laughs> but if you have kids yeah i hope it'd so. just be a nice like thing to know that look these guys are set and they're gonna have a, a much easier life than yourself because you worked hard yeah right but there's a horrible side to that too because is, you're spoiling them and yeah. them not understanding the worth of what you've you know of course. but that comes down to being a good parent yeah. i think so, yeah. What do you want to be remembered by as my final question? What do I want to be remembered by? Yeah, um, what's the legacy, the legend, the one and only, the true? Honestly, first and foremost, I want people, if you know me as a musician, to think that I had good music, I, I would hope. And at least that my music made you feel something. That's the main thing. And then if you know me outside of music, then just as a nice person, I hope you think that I'm a nice person. That's it. If people think, if they say my name in the same sentence as being a nice person, I'm happy, I'm content. Well, I can tell you, I will definitely feel like you're a nice person. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you for your time. Oh, and do you want to say something to the German community? Community. I want to say big up you lot. I appreciate all the support ever since I started. I'm going to be in Germany a lot more because it's only like, you know, an hour or so away from London. And it's super cold here. Why are you guys so cold here? Can you... <laughs> Noodles are trash. Yeah, but I do like your pastries. Can you please? Oh, you know what I love? The slashes. That's my favorite. Dosslöscher? Yeah, 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 I forgot to say that. I almost ended wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Multivitamin. No, that's not it. No. That's it. No, that's not it. That's it. Look, he's nodding his no, head. No, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Honorable, honorable. What? Well, that's not it. Okay, like, look. Multivitamin. Wait, wait, wait. Dosslöscher, multivitamin. Yes. No. Yes, yes. Honorable mention. The cherry one is fire. I like that. Kush. Kush. Yeah. Kirsch, I like that. But multivitamin is the one. 
Whoa. See now I know you wanna see now I know you wanna argue because nobody fucking says the best dual slasher is multivitamin. I'm from the UK, we have different tastes. That's it. Okay. I like it. And I like how cheap it is, I like how much juice you get for the price. It's just fire. It's just fire. It's just like, we all we all love dual slasher. Yeah. For alle da draußen, ihr habt's gehört, der beste dual slasher angeblich ist multivitamin. Yes. I would say that's cap. Okay, yeah. um, what's the best one? Just say it. Just say it. Lemon. Lemon. Yeah. Boring. Zitrone. It's boring. Boring. Look, they all said no. Oh, they all said no. Lemon? Multivitamin. Yes, my guy. See, he's done. Easy, easy, easy. Well, this was a nice interview. Um, thank you for your time. This was AJ Tracy and Steph here in Berlin. A conversation that has gone from gardening to Durstlöscher. Yeah, yeah. And I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, heftig. Ich mach nur Interview mit der.